Hello, everybody. Welcome to Telly Talks, where we talk about life, growth, relationships, and all things in between. Today, I have a very special guest. He is a magician slash musician, Day Mori. Hi, y'all. Thanks for <laughs> coming up? on. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited. Okay, so for the people that don't know who you are, can yeah. you tell us about your journey and how you got to where you are today? Yeah, so hi, I'm Day Mori. I'm 19 years old. I make music pop punk alternative and I also do magic. Okay, so what was your first love? My first love, my first love was magic. I started at nine years old and I really enjoy the way that magic was able to help me to connect people and connect with people because I was like homeschooled, right? Uh -huh. So I was like really like kind of isolated and magic really helped me to break the ice and get to know people. So what, what like, did you start off with like magic tricks, cards? Like yeah. what, what was your first magic trick and how mm. old were you? My first magic trick was a card trick and I was nine years old. And what was the card trick? Uh, the card trick was, uh, it was like a self-working card trick that like you deal out all these cards and it it's not even really a magic trick. It was like math. But then from there, I started getting into the sleight of hand and more visual magic. Okay, so please let us know for all yeah. the people that don't know how magic work works. Is it an illusion of the eye or is it like, how does it, I guess, how do you get people to believe that you're doing something magical? Um, so a lot of magic is misdirection and timing and um, visual illusion too, you know? Okay. So I think... Every magic trick is different because we have hypnosis and mentalism, and then we have sleight of hand, and then we have escape art, and then we have like grand illusions, right? So like each one has its own method. Um, there's not really like a a way to say like, because if, if I were to say like um, misdirection is how all tricks work, mm -hmm. well... Not necessarily, because then there's like visual illusions where nothing's where you're not being told to look anywhere right. else, you know. Um, so like every magic trick works differently. Got yeah. it. OK, so what is your favorite thing to do when it comes to magic? Ooh, my favorite magic, my favorite thing to do with magic is probably uh, I really like mentalism and I really like reading people's minds. Oh, that's, yeah. that's impressive. So, okay. Show me, I guess, show me a trick that you learned and mastered. Cause they yeah. say it takes what? 10,000 hours to master something. Show yeah. me a trick that you, you feel you've mastered and then show me something that's your favorite. Okay, cool. So this is something I feel I've mastered and okay. it's like cardistry, uh, not even really like a magic trick, but more of like sleight of hand without hiding it. Okay. I guess is the best way to say it. Okay. Let's we'll check this out. That is crazy. I'm trying, I'm still trying to figure out how he is like holding these, <laughs> these cards up. Thank like how, you. So it's just, and even yeah. like that, shuffling like that without dropping a card. <laughs> right. For anyone at home who can't see the cameras yet, you should turn it into the YouTube channel to see uh, what I just did. I know that you're probably just hearing a bunch of like card sounds. Uh, I just did a move called Spatchum and Phobos Diemos by an artist, a card artist named Noel Heath. Yeah. Wow, that was impressive. Just thank you. Like seeing cards move around and it looked like it was literally stuck to his finger. I'm like, where's the glue over here? Yeah. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> that move actually, I bet you could do it. It's called an angel and it just works by like pushing down really hard on the card and then. So the card like, sticks on your hand? Yeah, here, check this out. Okay. Ready? Can I do it? Uh huh. Okay. Is that okay? Uh huh. Okay. What? Yeah. So you just have to push down really hard. Yeah. Look, y'all. <laughs> That's crazy, right? That's crazy. You wouldn't think it was like so 
easy to do, but I guess when yeah. you start moving your hands around, so it's just like more of, I guess, uh, teaching then, I guess, right? Yeah. So who's your mentor when it comes to magic? Um, so I've had, I'm lucky enough to have had a bunch of mentors. I'm a part of the Magic Castle and the Academy of Magical Arts. Uh, I don't really have a magic mentor currently, but I do have a music mentor, Leanne, who's really amazing and has taught me a lot about the music industry and, you know, navigating that. That's amazing. So, yeah. okay, me let's, and switch, let's switch to music now. Oh, yeah. All right. Music. So magic was your first love. Yeah. When did music come into your life? Music came in when I was like 11 and I fell in love with nightcore music and um, like hyper it was hyper pop before hyper pop was a thing. Remixes and All American Rejects and Panic at the Disco and even Taylor Swift, Avril Lavigne. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really fell in love with um, being able to tell a story in three minutes, you know? Yeah, that's it. That yeah, really cool. no, that's, I feel like music speaks so much to people not just with words but their situations their stories like deeper than just a song you know like yeah. people music saves people's lives you know it can change people's lives yeah. so i just feel like there's such a huge impact on music with people's livelihood as well too so i think that's super amazing favorite song that you have out now uh, my favorite song i have out now is troubled teen uh, which is what the shirts are. <laughs> yes. Um, it's about, I wrote it about the troubled teen industry and my experience with it and escaping it. Um, in 2018, uh, for those of you who don't know about the troubled teen industry, and I don't know if you know anything about the troubled teen industry or what it is, it's basically um, fix my kid camps that mm. are oftentimes very, very, very abusive and neglectful. And when I was 15, I was sent to one in Los Angeles that practiced gay conversion therapy. Oh, wow. And on April 27th, I got out. And I didn't really hear a lot of people in the media talking about it until Paris Hilton came out and shared her experience with it. Um, but still, I really wanted to reclaim the term troubled teen because it places the blame on kids who are put in these programs rather than parents who are sending their children to these programs to be abused or Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs, who is responsible for most troubled teen industry programs. So the therapy behind the troubled teen programs isn't what it's painted out to be. No, it's really bad. You know, like there's a lot of people who have died in the hands of the troubled teen industry. And it's really unfortunate, you know, that is in wilderness programs and in institutional programs and residential and even boarding schools that are affiliated with the troubled teen industry. Oh, is, I'm, I'm sorry you went through that. And that it, it's just unfortunate to hear because you think that you're sending your children to these camps to get better, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. or, or like a therapeutic situation for them. And it just makes it worse, you know? And, yeah. and I just feel like, especially with a, with youth, it, it's, it's so much um, politics involved and, you know, they're growing, so they're becoming their own person. Yeah. So whereas a parent myself, like you tend to lose that, you know, structure that you've built. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's where as parents, we get scared and yeah. don't know what to do. But I would instead of sending my child away, I would probably just, you know, whether it's talk to therapy yeah. together you know, as opposed to like putting them in another situation where you don't know what the outcome is going to be. And it could be an outcome that's even worse. So exactly. parents, talk to your kids. Talk to your kids. <laughs> be involved absolutely, with your children. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And also check out Breaking Code Silence um, to learn more about the troubled teen industry. Yes. And if you want to check out my song Troubled Teen, I put out a music video with it. And in the music video, I escape a straight jacket, which is pretty oh, cool. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Tune in to all things he has going on on TikTok. You're huge on TikTok. Too. Yeah. Thank so, you. So, okay. Let's talk about TikTok. Yeah. What made you start doing TikTok? How did you grow? Where was your viral moment? All that yeah. good stuff. So, TikTok, I started growing through magic purely um, at first. I was like really in love with Chris Angel mm -hmm. and... David Blaine and even like 
smaller magicians who people may not know about, like Andrew Main, mm -hmm. um, is like he builds illusions and performs magic. And now he like works, I think, in aerospace. He's really, really cool. Oh, wow. I was really a fan of like bigger illusions and performing them on the street with what seemed to be like ordinary objects, right? So I really wanted to do that, but I couldn't like afford a lot of these big illusions, mm -hmm. right? So I had to find out how to build them myself. So I would create like unique hiding spaces for people to appear and vanish um, out of like cardboard and out of like random objects and make it so I could achieve these effects with like no costs because I was right. I just at, turned at 16, budget, right? right? So um, my first, I think, viral video I had on TikTok was me. I think the first one was literally just me doing a backflip off of a swing set. And then after that was me making two people appear on the street with a curtain. Oh, wow. Which was really, really fun. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I would love to see that one yeah, day. Like I'll just to you. randomly just appear on the street. Like where did they come from? It was so fun. I could show you a magic trick right now. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let me just turn this off real quick. Oh, Chandler is here. Oh, he's here. Yeah, Chandler's here. That's exciting. Okay. Um, can I see your phone? Sure. Okay, sick. Can, is it all right if I go to Safari? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna type it in. Mm -hmm. Can I open a new tab? Yeah, yeah go ahead, go for it. Cool. Okay, cool. And like Google? Mm, go ahead. Um, tell you. Do you have like a memory that makes you happy? Yes. Okay. I want you to think back to that memory and imagine that you're there. Okay. Take a breath in, breathe out and close your eyes. With your mind's eye, look around this memory, okay? And is there an object that sticks out to you in this memory? Yes. Yeah? Okay, now don't tell me what that object is. Okay. But if I were to ask you um, to type it out, could you? So, one sec. Is it okay if I turn off your Wi-Fi? Go it's ahead. not. Go into Google. Oh, there it is. Okay, it opened. Here. So just go into... You can open your eyes. I'm going to exit the room. Okay. All I want you to do is type in what this object is in Google, mm -hmm. go to an image of it and show the camera, but don't show me and don't tell me. Okay. And when you're done, just yell for me to come back. Okay. Sound good? Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna type it in and show you guys what the image is. One sec. Ready? Okay, cool. And the phone's off, so I can't see it, right? Oh, turn it off? Yeah, turn it okay. off just so I can't see whatever it okay. is that you're thinking of. So you've got this memory, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to try to figure out what you're thinking of. Okay. It's going to be a bit strange. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Remember you being there. You're indoors in this memory, yeah? Mm-hmm. You're with someone you love? Yes. Is there a lot of white? The color white? Yes. Okay. You can open your eyes. Look at me. I'm going to say letters in the alphabet. Okay. Keep your face as still as you can. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, wait. A, H, H. There's an H in it, mm -hmm. in the first word, first letter. 
you're at a hospital mm -hmm. and you're looking at a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's crazy. That's pretty good. That is impressive. Thank you. That is pretty good. So how, tell me, I know magicians <laughs> never like share their yeah. secrets, but I just have to ask like, how do you do that? Magic. <laughs> As a magician, musician, <laughs> magician would say. It's weird. I got two I things I do. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. But I like to combine them. So like on yeah. stage, I escape a straight jacket with my band. And like, I want to do more big illusions with my concert, you know, like vanish and levitate. Yeah, that's yeah. that's impressive. Okay, Thanks. so do you have a girlfriend, boyfriend? Uh, no. Single, no one right ready now. to mingle? Single. Not ready to mingle, maybe ready to mingle. I don't know. So um, I have a curse in that I really like men uh, and men are very difficult. Gosh, I know. <laughs> I like them too and they're difficult. Men so. can be very <laughs> difficult. Uh, so I'm, I don't know. Men, men are great. They're very attractive, but emotionally, I need someone, I need to wait until I find someone who's like vulnerable enough for me yeah. to open up, you know, Absolutely. to connect. I need that. And Absolutely. Yeah. Haven't found that yet. I love it. I love it. So for Thank everyone you. that comes on, we play yeah. a game just to get to know you outside of who you are yeah. on social media and all that good stuff. So we have two so games, excited. two choices. They're both toxic. Really I crazy love playing games. toxic games. Let's go. Bad choices. And okay. it's a game of have you ever. Okay. So have you ever done this? Have you ever done that? Yeah. And then pick your poison. And I play with you too, so you don't feel like you're on the hot seat. Okay, let Pick your poison is would you rather. So would you okay. rather do this or would you rather do that? And then bad choices. Have you ever done this? Or let's get spicy and do bad choices. All right, let's do it. Yeah. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you pick four cards and I'm going to pick four cards to okay. ask you to. If you pick like a draw or something, just change your card. One, one, two, okay. Three, four. Okay. Are these, can I show you them? No, you're going to read them to me and okay. then we're going to answer each other's questions. We'll okay. just go back and forth. This is going to be very fun. Yeah. All right. I'll go first. Would you ever get a lover's name tattooed on your body? Where? Wherever you want. Wherever I want? Mm, no. Okay. No. Okay. Would you rather save one close family member's life than the lives of a hundred thousand strangers? Oh. As much as I love my family, like I'm a yeah. people person and I believe things happen for a reason. Yeah. And whatever that reason that Lord made me have to choose to yeah. get rid of my family member. I'm sorry, guys. I love you guys. But a hundred thousand <laughs> strangers is a lot of That's lives lot to of have people. on yeah. your hand as opposed to one life. So, yeah, yeah I'm going to have to do the hundred strangers. Sorry. All right. Family. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. All right. I have. Have you ever smoked marijuana with your parents? Uh, with other people's parents, <laughs> <laughs> not my own. Um, I've been high in front of my parents and they haven't known. I'm sober now, though. I just said like good. 400 days completely sober from everything, oh, wow. which is really fun. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much. That's I appreciate dope. you. That's, that's a blessing. Congratulations. I'm really blessed to have the people in my life who help keep me sober. So that's, thank you. That's good. I'm really grateful. It's on you. Thanks. Do you think you would be an excellent teammate to have on The Amazing Race. Oh, yes. I loved watching The Amazing Race when I was younger. And Wait, what I is The Amazing Race? It's like this show where you um, go and, like, travel the world yeah. and, like, go with your spouse, your brother, your teammate, and you do all these, like, uh, expeditions around the world and like you win a race to get to the end and you win money at the end so it's like oh it's, it's yeah it's just so much fun there's That's obstacles so cool. and everything and you just travel the world yeah so it's, it's super fun but it's i don't know if it's still out the amazing race i feel like it's it's ancient news but it's it's such a fun a fun game it sounds like fun yeah it's, it's so much fun all right in the past 30 days have you sent or received a sext message 
Um, I mean, like, does someone being like telling me I'm cute count? I, I don't know. No, I think that's Not like sex. Sex thing is a little bit more deeper like than nudes. Cute. <laughs> no, yeah, I think it's like a little bit more deeper than that. I feel like I'm not that fun. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's on you. Are you able to keep a secret? Absolutely. Sometimes I feel like I have. Um, I mean, it, it depends on what the secret is. If it's yeah. like a deep secret that I know is like super you know, don't want anyone to know and yeah. you would take to your grave and you tell me, then absolutely 110%. Yeah. But if it's like, don't tell mom this and I'm gonna be like, okay, mom, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if it has to be like a worthy secret for me to yeah. like really keep. But if it's just like something that's like small or like, you know, then I'm probably gonna tell. <laughs> just being honest. I mean, so I don't tell me nothing you don't want me to keep. If, it, <laughs> if it's not that serious, because I might tell. <laughs> Period. Okay. Um, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, would you sacrifice everyone here to save yourself? Um. So love The Walking Dead, but what do you mean by <laughs> sacrifice? Like how? Like wait. Like everyone else dies, but you stay alive. I mean, like if there's a door. And it's open and I can run away from the zombies. <laughs> I love y'all, but just being honest, I would definitely <laughs> do that. Like, I but mean, if it's like, I if it's like what I like, sacrifice you and leave you as bait for a zombie, <laughs> probably not because I'm vegan, but um, if there were like zombies breaking in and they were coming in through the windows, everyone, everyone for themselves. Right there, everyone for themselves. I mean, like, I would definitely like be like, come, but like if they've already got you. I don't know if I would be the best zombie fighter anyway. So it's like, it's kind of like the airbag thing on a plane. Right. I would definitely. You gotta save yourself it. before yeah. you save anybody else. And that's just what it is, guys. <laughs> but I wouldn't like sacrifice y'all. No, absolutely. <laughs> I, I respect the honesty. Trust me. Thank you. But I don't know. Like, I've never been in the zombie apocalypse. Maybe I'd like change like in a life or death situation like you never like, know hopefully hopefully we don't get to that point though hopefully but honestly with covid with polio with monkeypox it's a lot going on out i here. would not be surprised if zombie apocalypse was next <laughs> seriously we can't put nothing past the world no. today so what speaking no. of the world what do you yeah. have going on so right now i just put out my new music video troubled teen and my new song troubled teen and a new music video that Chandler actually shot. Oh, nice. Which was really, really fun, really cool, called Dizzy, with a new song called Dizzy. This weekend, um, I'm performing at the Magic Castle. I perform there once a month. Nice. And then, uh, oh yeah, and I just got back from Fashion Week. Oh, how was it, New York? It was really fun. It was my first time in New York. Have you ever oh, been? Oh, it's the best. Yeah, I, I love, love fashion. It, yeah. Yeah, I used to live in Jersey, so I was in New York all That's the time. So cool. And New York is a very busy, you know, it's not LA and New York are two completely different extremes. I feel like L yeah. LA is more like chill, nonchalant. Everybody's doing something to make it in Hollywood. And New York is like hustle, bustle, mind my own business because I got to get to where I got to get to to hustle and bustle. Yeah. You know, so New York is very busy. Love both places, but yeah. I love L.A., you know, so it's two completely different extremes for sure. Yeah. New York is definitely crazy. I loved it. I loved it so much. It's, it was so it's, fun. It's the best. I've got one more question okay. if you want it. Let's do it. For $200. <laughs> would you tell a mother that their baby was ugly no not enough money and, what about I, and that's just that's just <laughs> wrong like i would never like just be like oh yeah hey girl your baby's ugly <laughs> sorry to let you know that like that's so mean i would never and i'm a mother too so yeah. like what if someone doesn't think my kids are attractive you know like that's just not something that you want to hear that's a, that's a way to end end a podcast talk about ugly children right? hey girl, your, your your child is ugly <laughs> yeah not for that'd be so mean now if you were like 20 million dollars and two hundred thousand. No, I still think that's not enough. To, two million. To just, two million. To just, what if that's like 20 million is my number, guys. There's a number. Million? There's a number for everything, right? Because yeah. you don't know what traumatic mentally 
that person might go through yeah. or their child might go through or what hypnotherapy they're going to need. But like after. $20 million you can pay for the hypnotherapy I will and pay. get a yacht. I will pay for the hypnotherapy yeah. after I tell your child <laughs> is ugly. And I'm be like, you know what? Sorry for the mental illness that I caused you. I got Here's the money. Paid. Pay for your yeah. child to go get surgery or whatever it is you want to <laughs> do. Surgery. surgery, therapy, whatever it is that you want to do. <laughs> It's here you guys go. Half of my money. Sorry I called you. Take it or leave sorry it. Sorry I called you kid ugly. I got it was paid a dare. $20 million. Right. Exactly. Here's $10 million. I encourage you to get plastic surgery. <laughs> whatever you need. Whatever you with need. That, whatever you want. Whatever you need with that $10 million. Because the other 10 is going in my pocket. Sorry, not sorry. It was a deal. I mean, a that's deal. a pretty good percentage. Like $10 million just for someone to call you ugly. For a comment, right? I get called ugly on the internet every day. Oh, Where's my? I should be racking up like a hundred million. I, I'm dollars. telling you, like imagine if we would be get every yeah. dollar. If every, if everyone gave me a dollar for calling me any Just type of one name dollar, yeah. on Instagram alone, yeah. one platform, I would be rich. You'd be so rich. Like, what? That'd be great. Why do people even do that? Like, I think it's just insecurity. Because oh, you're yeah. obviously, 100, like, stunning. 110%. So it's like, it's a, I just feel like people just nitpick. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and and you just can't let people get to you. Or, you know, like, yeah. people are judgmental and they don't know any better, so they don't do better. Period. So that's what I think Period. it is. But tell everyone where they could find you. Yeah. And um, let them know what you want to know. So, hi, I'm Day Mori. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube yes. uh, at Day Mori Magic, D A Y M O R I M A G I C. Um, or on Spotify, you just search my name, Day Mori, D A Y M O R I. Um, YouTube, same thing. Yes, and listen to his song, Troubled Teen and Dizzy. Out now. Out now. Also, make sure you guys catch him on the weekends once a week at the Magic Castle. Once a month. Once it's, a month. I can't. Bring, so here's the thing. It's invite only. Oh. So you got to get invited to go. So hit him up on the gram. Oh, please. <laughs> to, uh, hit him up on the gram no, and I'm TikTok and follow blast. him. I'm being put on blast. <laughs> follow me. Don't ask me for Magic Castle invites if I don't know you, but... <laughs> Um, I'll get you in. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Thank you so yeah. much. And that is it. Thank you all so talk. much. Have a nice one. <laughs>